What's up everybody, it's Mining Office. Uh, today we're gonna take a look at what NB Miner just released for light hash rate cards for Ethereum. Um, they seem to have an unlock, which should do about 70% uh, of the uh, total hash rate. So we're gonna try it on our two cards here. We have the 3060 Ti LHR and the newly added 3080 uh, LHR, the EVGA card. Um, so yeah, we're gonna check out that. We're gonna hop over to the PC. But uh, I just want to first shout out to Altered Component. Uh, he's the one who let me know that uh, this was a thing. Uh, so yeah, uh, big thanks to him. Uh, let's hop over to the computer. All right, everyone. So uh, we're going to start with the 3060 Ti because that's what I have in my PC. Um, but uh, afterwards, we will move over to the rig and we'll do it on the 3080. I know that probably is what interests most people. Uh, so first you want to go to the releases, I mean the latest release of the NB Miner GitHub. Uh, you can see the uh, link up top, it's version 39. And you can see here is a new feature for ETH hash, a new LHR mode for ETH mining on RTX 30 series LHR GPUs, supports for Windows and Linux, able to get about 70% of maximum unlocked hash rate. Let's hope that's true. Uh, so you have to use it in an argument, uh, dash LHR only works for ETH hash right now. Okay, so we won't test it on Ergo. Um, LHR default to zero, meaning even if LHR is not set, LHR mode with dash LHR 68 will be applied to LHR GPUs. Um, okay, so yeah, th that makes sense. Just a default setting. Um, you can tune it to reach a certain value percent of maximum unlocker hash rate. Uh, we'll expect to get 60% of, okay. Uh, okay, so from what I understand from this, you uh, it should work with 68%, use it as a baseline. That's what zero reverts to anyway. And you can push it up as far as your GPU can handle. I mean, I'm assuming after a certain point, it'll either crash or just not do anything. So uh, we'll try 68 and we'll push it up to 70. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, download this the uh, Windows 64 version. Uh, yeah, of course, it tells me it's dangerous. We're gonna keep it. So it does say here, known issue, unable to unlock LHR hash rate under Windows driver 471.11. So we're just gonna look what we have, 471.68. So we should be avoiding that issue there. So um, what I'm gonna do is uh, go in T-Rex. I already had some baseline overclocks for my 3060 Ti, even though it is light hash rate, uh, somewhere in here. So here we go. So I'm gonna try running that. I'm gonna see what I get um, as a baseline with those overclocks. And then uh, I'll, we'll go into the NB minor. Uh, so let's start from there. Okay, so uh, finally, I, I didn't have any overclocks done for Ethereum. So this is the baseline, 100% power limit, 90% fans. I'm getting about 25 point something mega hash. And of course, when I start recording, it drops. Okay, so you, you can't consider these values. So baseline around 25, I'm going to get some overclocks uh, and then we'll try out NB minor. These are my results. Again, uh, T-Rex Miner should give about 50% of the full hash rate card since this is a light hash rate card. Um, so stock settings I had with 100 power limit, zero core, zero memory. I had about 25 mega hash at 162 watts. And uh, after overclocking it uh, as low as I could go on the power limit, I got to 55 with 100 core, 1000 memory. That gave about 13 point, or sorry, 30.13 mega hash at 109 watts. So uh, with that, now we're gonna go try out NB Miner and uh, see what we can get. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing, uh, 100 power limit, baseline setting, and then overclock setting, and we'll compare the two. We got NB Miner going. Uh, you can see right away, we, it seems like we have access to more hash rate. Uh, by default, we're around 31. It seems to vary by like 0.5 mega hash, uh, and we're around 190 watts. So um, already there compared to what we had before, we were just pulling 162 on 100 power uh, limit. And uh, now we're pulling closer to 190. So uh, there's there's clearly a difference already. I'm going to get some overclocks on here and uh, we'll see just how high we can get it. And if we can hit that uh, that 70% mark that uh, NB Miner says we can hit. Also, this is also done right now with uh, LHR-68. So we'll crank it up to 70 afterwards uh, after we find some good overclocks. Here are my results with uh, the final overclocks, and I was not able to get it up to 70%. Uh, the max I got was 61%. Uh, so let's start by the baseline at 100 power limit. 
uh, we were doing 31 mega hash at 190 watts, and that was with uh, LHR set to the default of 68. Uh, then we went with a 70 power limit, minus 200 on the core clock, and 950 on the memory. Uh, and we uh, got out 36 mega hash at 100, uh, 139 watts. If I put it lower than that, we significantly drop down. If I put it higher than that, uh, we use more power and didn't gain any mega hash. Again, that's with the LHR 68. And um, I tried turning up LHR to 70 and my hash rate dropped to like 18 or 20. So that was obviously too much. I tuned it back to 69 and I gained about uh, half a mega hash. You see 36.5. Uh, for the same power output, but this was the max I could really get it. Um, so that's 61%. If I assume that a 3060 Ti should do 60 mega hash, um, 36.5, I mean, it's better than the 30 I could get before. Uh, it's definitely better, um, but it's not the 70% as advertised uh, still. Um, I will add that um, my card has Hynix memory on this 3060 Ti, the Zotac Twin Edge OC. Um, yeah, so um, now I'll go back to the other PC, or the rig, I should say. We're going to try out the 3080 and uh, do the same type of thing um, and uh, see what percentage we can get. If we can actually achieve up to that 70%, it could be that's only achievable with certain cards. So that's what we're here to test. We'll have to test out this card too eventually. It's the 3060. I haven't even opened yet, but we'll save that for another day. Um, here we have on just the TRX Miner. Uh, running with a hundred power limit and uh, just fans on 95%. We are getting 47.79 mega hash at 265 watts, let's say. So um, that's going to be our baseline. I'm going to get some overclocks on here, see how high I can get it on T-Rex, and then we'll swap over to NB Miner, same way we did on the 3060 Ti. So the overclocks have been fine-tuned. If you're wondering, my 3080 has micron memory. Uh, I settled on 52 power limit, uh, core clock changed nothing, so I left it at zero, and my memory clock, I maxed it out at 1,500. Um, that gives us a uh, hash rate of 55.75 about, consuming 176 watts. So that's pretty good. Uh, the 3080 was easier to overclock than the 3060 Ti, I feel, and uh, I pretty well know I've maximized it at this point. So I'm going to hop over to NB Miner and uh, we'll see what the difference is. I'll, I'll show you the data uh, kind of like I did last time when it's all recorded afterwards. So baseline for NB minor seems to be jumping around 52 to 53 mega hash, more like 52 to 52 and a half. Uh, again, that's, you know, stock settings here, which is the fans going 100% uh, power limit. So you can see right away, I mean, stock to stock, this is already higher. We'll apply the overclocks and uh, see what's the maximum we can get here and then tweak the LHR from 68 to 69 to 70 if we can. All right, everyone, uh, not the results we were looking for. Um, I can only achieve about 59 and a half mega hash maximally. It usually bounces between 59 and 60 at most. Here you see it sits down a bit. Um, that's the max I can get. I tried LHR 68, 69, 70, always stayed about the same. And uh, I had to run slightly higher power limit here, 70% to keep my maximal hash rate. I could only turn the memory clock up to 1,300 this time, or else if I pushed it anymore, it just dropped. And the core clock changed nothing. So I'm gonna show you the number. All right, so this is what we have. Um, stock settings on T-Rex, we got 47.8 mega hash at 267 watts. Uh, when we pushed it with overclocks, 52% uh, power limit, we didn't touch the core and we pushed the memory all the way to the max at 1,500. We got 55.75 mega hash. And here, notice the wattage at 176 watts. Uh, that's quite low uh, compared to what we're going to see with NB minor. So NB minor, we we're supposed to get 70% of the hash rate or up to it. Um, stock, we get a bit higher than when we're comparing to the stock of T-Rex. We get 52.5 mega hash at a terrible 333 watts. That's at LHR 68. And I could only ever get it up to, like I said, 59.5 here. Um, so it's, it's not much more than with T-Rex. And you can see the power difference, 237 watts versus 176 watts for that 55.75 mega hash. So I didn't record the efficiencies, but it seems like, yeah, you'll get more hash rate on the 3080 uh, using NB minor, but uh, you'll probably be less efficient. Um, that's what it seems like. So again, I don't know what percentage this one is, but um, that's definitely not 70% of the full hash rate. Um, and on top of that, well, like I said, when I went to 69 or even a 70 light hash rate for this card, it changed nothing. 
So this was the maximum I was about to achieve. So I mean, in conclusion, guys, um, if your cards are already mining ETH, for sure, for sure, for sure, switch over to NB miner. Do it because I mean you're gonna gain hash rate. Um, that's for sure. But if you're mining Ravencoin, um, I don't think it's worth it on your light hash rate cards to switch over. Um, at least from the two cards I've tested, I have not been able to get that 70% efficiency. Uh, it seems like 61% at best. So um, I think I'm one of the first people making videos on this and testing it out. Um, please, if, if you guys out there have cards that are light hash rate, um, let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the testing, um, give me a like. Think about subscribing to the channel if you enjoy the content. I have a lot of other content. And uh, next time I'll unbox this 3060 and I'll do the same thing. I'll try it on Ravencoin and I'll try it also um, with the NB miner to see what's the maximal hash rate on ETH we can get. So um, I'll see you guys next time. I'm going to put both of these cards back on Ravencoin, the 3080 and the 3060 Ti. And uh, I'm curious to see what the rest of the community finds for this. Take care, guys.